This is our really naked GS adventure. <laughs> it's it's naked. Um, obviously, there's no windscreen. Uh, we do have stuff wind deflectors, but there's like no point in removing those. Um, no lower crash bars, no upper crash bars. Um, just the cylinder heads, they come out that far. So it looks like a GS, but just with a lot more up top. Um, come around to the side. And we have no exhaust. <laughs> so let's get a little bit lower in the bike here. So we have, uh, so you guys in, if you're doing projects, you can kind of envision what it's gonna look like. Yes, I know the side glass is full. It's, it's right at the edge there, just calm down. Um, yes, yeah, so the exhaust headers are off, empty. Uh, the full exhaust is off completely, so it's fully naked back there. Um, the exhaust actuator valve controller that goes under here is also off. Um, and of course, yeah, no crash bars, right? We've even got these two, you know, they're screwed in, but they're pulled out a little bit. Um, lots of stuff going on under the bike right now. Uh, I'll give you a quick overview, I guess, down here. So, um, okay, future projects, I guess. All of the stuff that's off the bike is getting powder coated, and I'll show you that in a second. Uh, we are doing Alt Rider lower crash bars. We're doing um, Alt Rider skid plate. We are getting uh, all the exhaust components powder coated. Uh, we have a Wonderlick steering stop coming. Um, the Machine Art Moto head guards are on. The TKC80s are here. And I have the tool just came in tonight to remove the front wheel. And of course the, the rear is just um, Torx. So remove the front and rear and I'll do a video on how to change your tires. Got a bead breaker and that coming. Probably next month I'll do that video. We have the uh, Machine Art Moto Advance hand guards are coming. Uh, Rocks risers are installed. The um, I need to paint the Machine Art Moto slip screen black, but um, it is done or it's ready to go on. Um, let's do the other side, I guess. So we've got uh, nothing over here. It gives you an idea, though, if you're doing anything to work to the bike. It gives you an idea of what's under underneath there, going, going underneath. I debated getting the uh, Pillion, Pallion uh, powder coat. I'm not quite sure if I will yet. Uh, but I'm definitely not going to get the uh, rear luggage rack powder coated. Uh, at least not yet. It may happen this year, but but we'll see. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. <laughs> um, I want to get a front slider installed, frame slider installed for the front wheel. But uh, yeah, she's completely naked. It's a great view, by the way. Uh, it just looks beautiful, but here's in the front. So quick video, but I thought I'd show you guys where we are with everything. Those are my uh, auxiliary lights hanging from the both sides there because there's no place for them to go right now. All right, thanks for watching. And uh, Naked GS. Things are coming up really nice. I think it's going to take about four weeks for the powder coating to get done because the guy's just busy. It's fine. There's no riding right now anyway. So four weeks for powder coating and then skid plate, crash bars, and exhaust go back on. Then the Jesse bags get linked, uh, mounted up, and I'll show you, I'll do a review of those, how those look on the bike. And then the bike goes to BMW after that and gets the reflector recall and the gear shift assist pro firmware update and a couple other little small things. And then after that, the bike will pretty much be done, unless for somehow I find 1200 bucks to do the Denali, um, the full Denali kit, Hex Easy Can or Can Smart. Um, the Denali brake light, the Denali sound horn, the D4s up and the D2s below on the forks. Uh, that will be the last big purchase of the bike before the next riding season starts, if I get to that. But if not, then um, things are definitely coming together. And uh, I know you guys have been really enjoying my video. Thank you for all the likes and the comments and the questions. It's been great. And uh, hope to see you guys out on the, the road this year. Obviously, the Moscow Motos are already here. Those are the off-roading bags where the Jessies will be on road. Here's the uh, Alt Rider skid plate right there. Muskomoto mounts there. And then we've got an um, Alt Rider luggage rack there for the Roto packs, which is here. And maybe I will do the passenger pegs powder coated. We'll see.
So that's it for this video. Thanks for watching. As always, rock on, dudes. Well, look at this. I did decide to take off the uh, passenger, sorry, the luggage, rear luggage rack. Now the bike is fully naked, and we have a whole box of stuff. Oh yeah, so you got Jesse bags, but Jesse rocks in here. All this is gonna get powder coated. He said about 200 bucks to do the racks and the headers and the upper crash bars. So I'm guessing it'll probably be closer to three to the uh, muffler and the uh, uh, passenger foot pegs and the rear luggage rack. But uh, you can't get any more naked than this on a GSA, which means it's a really good opportunity to uh, install a, a CAN bus system. It's a really good uh, opportunity, although I would probably want to remove the fuel tank to do that as well make it prop properly done.